What is up guys? Welcome back to Nitro Union and welcome back to Project Stimulus Stang. Uh, originally this was going to be one of those uh, two or three day projects and I wasn't even going to film it because it wasn't supposed to be a real big deal but kind of as it went along and took longer and longer I started filming more and more. So essentially the, the first thing that I had on my list to do was put my ignition system on. I got I gathered up at swap meets over a couple years um, a 6AL ignition box and uh, MS SD billet distributor so went ahead and got that stuff installed I had also picked up a pair of SLP loudmouth uh, mufflers um, the car had flow masters on it and I know a lot of people like flow masters but I just really didn't dig them that much um, just because like a lot of other guys cars have the same mufflers and stuff so I wanted a little more raw almost glass packy or just straight up you know sound so uh, so got those loudmouth so that was kind of the second thing to do and then of course get my Krager wheels on there and um, those were kind of the kind of the main things at the top of the list to get done, of course, to get the car rebuilt and just get the car running. Alrighty guys, so my wheel showed up, or one wheel showed up, the other one's coming directly from US Wheel because Summit didn't have it in stock, but uh, shout out to John at Summit for uh, for hooking us up with all the good stuff that we need, but um, yeah, so we're going to pop this puppy open and see what she looks like, hopefully it's, uh, it's what I'm expecting. So. Alright, I've been wrestling with this for a little bit now. There it is. Yeah, boy. Man, these are going to look good. I'm stoked. It um looks super close. I'll compare them to my actual Kragers, the fronts, and we'll see how close they are. I was really concerned about this, being able to put a Krager center cap on here, and um, it looks to be the same diameter, so I think we'll be able to pull that off. But, uh, heck yeah, I'm pretty proud of these. All right, guys, today, changing the valve spring. So I popped the valve covers off of it and uh, got all the plug wires out. I'm about to pull the plugs and uh, get these uh, get these valve springs changed. So um, I had a ticking noise on the driver's side bank. Um, I assume maybe it was one of the, the rockers had worked its way loose or just out of adjustment or something like that. But when I pulled the valve covers off, we found a broken valve spring. Uh, let's see. Let me see which one this one right here you might can tell it's kind of collapsed right there but uh yeah and these were i think these were just stock springs or whatever was on this car and we just stuck that cam in there and uh put some lifters in it and we didn't even change the springs so anyway i ordered a set of comp springs um that should be closed for this cam and uh so it'll be a little more right this time but uh yeah just knocking things off the list um of course, the list has expanded way more than I originally wanted it to, but uh, that's all right. It's all, it's all stuff that needs to be done, so it'll get there soon enough. I also need to do some paint and detail under here at some point, but um, I just want to get it going for now. What's up guys we're back on my 70 mach 1 mustang that's been sitting up for a long time and uh we've been whittling away at the list so uh we got the new valve springs put on today uh i got the valves adjusted uh, i got my new valve covers and everything put on had to use spacers for those I had to get all that stuff figured out 
uh, and uh, just changed the oil in it and um, just kind of going over a few things, uh, kind of looking at a few leaks and stuff like that, some little issues that I've had. But uh, yeah, it's getting really close. So I think uh, right now I've got it up in the air. I'm about to uh, throw my new front wheels and tires. So I'm still waiting on my second uh, wheel for the rear to come in. Um, it was back ordered, of course. So it's on the way. It should be here in the morning. So hopefully in the morning, I can get it back on the ground, get oil in it, uh, get it running, and then maybe get uh, some shots of the full wheel and tire package on it rolling and everything. So I'm pretty stoked about that, but uh, stay tuned, guys. So I got my wheels and tires for the front mounted. Um, these are my new old stock four and a half inch wide by 15 Crater SS's. And uh, I just got some uh, some little cheapo uh, 165 uh, skinny tires to put on them. And uh, I want to go with some kind of radial or something like that up front. I mean, it's just a street car. So, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get those thrown on here here in just a second and we can see how she looks. and. Uh, Still got some more stuff to do on the list, but uh, it's getting there, man. All right, guys, man, this thing has been a pain in the butt. It, uh, it started out as like a two-day project. Things just kind of snowballed, and we found some issues with it that the car had had that needed to be resolved. Then it started, to, we got the car back running, did a few things that I wanted to do to it, and then, of course, it just kind of went downhill from there as far as just running bad. So we finally got into it and discovered the cam was bad. Some of the lobes are wiped on it. Mm. Two and added two. As a crane, or is that a comp? Comp cam. Let's see. Too, too much. Wasn't even the worst one. That and gone. That and gone. That and gone. That and gone. We know it was way too big. Two down to two, I knew that. I guess that's one that we had, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just whatever whatever we had. And I think it was on, I remember looking it up in the, that old catalog, I think, and it was just at the bottom of the list. It was the that's biggest one. That's where we used to buy them. Yeah. Back in the day, you go down and find that page, the top motor on, go to the bottom, order that cam. And you had your driver license and your cam card in your pocket. He's badass, is Yeah. I know you've all done it. You ever start a project that's supposed to be a couple days, you know, well, maybe you get into it, take a couple steps back, a couple steps forward, turns into maybe a week. Well, this project uh, took a couple steps forward and now I'm just running backwards. But uh, anyway, we'll get it. Found lifters and cam and a bunch of stuff messed up. So just gotta get into it and uh, get it figured out. So I got a new cam and just been kind of slowly piecing it back together. So uh, hopefully now, uh, as you guys can see, um, I've got the MSD box. When we were trying to diagnose what was causing it to run so badly, I had wired in another box as I suspected it was ignition related. Um, wired another box, it didn't seem to make any difference. So anyway, I just need to wire this back up. I need to put my cap on, uh, plug wires on. Um, need to wire the fan back up and uh, a few more little things like that and she'll be ready to run again with that new cam in it and uh, hopefully it'll do what I want it to do. Um, we got some good uh, comp cams break in oil and we're going to jab that in there and also have to pick up a new oil filter 
um, in the morning whenever I come back to the shop. So, cause I'm about ready to get out of here for tonight. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully once we get this done, we're gonna fire it up tomorrow and uh, run it to break it in, to break that cam in since it's a uh, hydraulic flat tap it. And uh, hopefully it'll be good to go and I could start cruising this bad boy because it's been a long time. I know uh, letting this car sit up for so long, I kind of became that guy, you know, and uh, it was just because of different circumstances that I had going on in life, you know, and I just couldn't afford to, uh, to maintain a vehicle like this, keep good insurance on it and all that stuff. So now that I can, um, I want to cruise in it and enjoy it some. So that's what we're going to do. This is a little bit of redemption. Uh, I probably deserve to be treated like it's been treating me, but uh, that's okay. It's going to be all good. She's going to come together and uh, we'll get back with you guys and hopefully have a running car and maybe we can see if we can cruise it. Thank you guys so much for supporting, commenting, all that stuff. It's great chatting with you. Thanks for watching the videos and supporting the channel. If you get a chance or if you're interested, I've got the new Nitro Union shirts and everything in stock. Uh, the website is gassernation.bigcartel.com. Uh, there's a link below or there'll be a link at the end screen. But yeah, if you guys feel like supporting us more, drop over there and get some merch. The Gaster Nation merch is, is back in stock. Uh, plus Nitro Union stickers, all the Nitro Union shirts, and uh, they turn out really cool too. So um, be sure to do that if you want to. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you dig the stuff, be sure you're subscribed and uh, like the video. And we'll see you next time, and hopefully we'll have good news.